Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to play on guitar the song Through the Valley from uh, The Last of Us Part 2, also known as Ellie's Song. Now the version I'm going to teach you is very close to the original version by Sean James. Um, if you haven't heard my cover already, you can check that out in the link above. So first of all, I'm just going to show you what you guys are going to be able to play by the end of this tutorial. you'll want to make sure that you've got your capo on the 4th fret and throughout this song there are only three chords that you need to know. The first of these is the E minor chord. So you can play this by pressing down the 2nd fret of the 5th string and the 2nd fret of the 4th string. The next chord you're going to need is A minor. So for this one you want to still be pressing down the 2nd fret of the 4th string also the 2nd fret of the 3rd string and the 1st fret of the 2nd string. So that's your A minor chord. And finally the last chord we need is B7. So for this one we want to be pressing down the 2nd fret of the 5th string, the 1st fret of the 4th string, the 2nd fret of the 3rd string and the 2nd fret of the 1st string. So that's your B7 chord. So let's start with the introduction. So this is 16 bars long and the tempo is 112 beats per minute but you guys feel free to play it at whatever tempo you feel comfortable with. We're going to start playing off slow in this tutorial and then we'll gradually start to build up the speed but remember you can pause this video and go back at any time if you need to re-go over something. Okay so for the introduction we want to start off with our E minor chord and this is going to be for two bars and we're going to want to start off first of all by plucking the low E, so your sixth string and the high E, your uh, first string. Then you're going to pluck your second string and your third string. So it should sound like this. Next you're going to pluck the 5th string and your 1st string at the same time and then your 2nd and 3rd string. And finally you're going to pluck the 4th string and the 1st string at the same time and then the 2nd string. So putting that all together we have the 1st and the 6th string, 2, 3, 5th and the 1st string, 2, 3, fourth and the first string, two. So you play that twice through and then we move on to our A minor chord. This one is going to be a very similar uh, finger picking pattern but just slightly different. This time we're starting on the fifth string and the first string together then two, three, then we're going to go to the fourth string and the first string together, two, three, and then back to the fifth string and the first string together, two. So all together we're going to play that for two bars, it's going to sound like this. go back to our E minor chord for another two bars. And then we're going to be doing our B7 chord. So this one is going to have the same pattern as the A minor chord. So it's the fifth string and the first string together, two, three, the 
fourth string and the first string together, two, three, and then back to the fifth string and the first string together, two. And again, that's going to be played for two bars. Okay, so let's just go over that section that we have learned so far. So we start off with the E minor chord. A minor. E minor. B7. Now the next part is very similar. We again have two bars of E minor. Another two bars of A minor. And then finally a one bar of E minor. And then we have the B7 strumming part. And to finish off we go back to two bars of E minor. So the rhythm for that um, strumming part is we go down, up, slap, up, up, down, up. So I'll just repeat that again, so we're going down, up, slap, up, up, down, up. So to do that kind of slapping noise, what you want to do is you want to be having the palm of your hand hitting across the strings as you're playing it. So like, so if we do that chord now a little bit faster, we've got down, up, slap, up, up, down, up. Okay, so let's go through that whole verse one more time. So E minor for two bars. E minor, E minor, B7, E minor, E minor, E minor for one bar. So that is the introduction to the song and that also is the same uh, chord part and all the way through the verses and the choruses as well. So in the first verse and the first chorus you want to play that exactly the same. The only difference is that we don't do this strumming part on that second B7 chord. Instead we just go back to the same finger picking style that we did before. So 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, two, three, five and one, two. That last line would be like this. So you've got your E minor, B7, and then back to your E minor. Okay, so for the second half of the song, um, in the Sean James version, he goes on to do a strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern that is used in the second verse, in the instrumental and in the chorus, goes like this. Okay, so the rhythm we're using there, so if we start again on the E minor chord, we're going down, slap, up, slap, up, slap, up. 
So a little bit faster. Down, slap, up, slap, up, slap, up. Then for the second bar, we're going to go down, up, slap, up, slap, up, slap, up. So down, up, slap, up, slap, up, slap, up. So if we put those two bars together, we have... Then it's exactly the same for the A minor chord. And then we go back to the E minor chord again. B7. E minor. A minor. And now I like to do a single strum for the E chord a single strum for the B7 chord and then back to our rhythm again for the E minor. So I do that single strum for those second to last chords um, in the second verse and in the instrumental part, um, so that part where he's whistling. Um, by the way guys, if you can't whistle very well, like myself, just do a solo on another instrument. I did a solo on my violin for this. But yeah, and then in the final chorus, I just continue that strumming pattern all the way through. And only when he gets to the very last line that he repeats, do I do those single chords. Okay, so let's just play that whole section one more time, a little bit faster, so you can play along. you guys have now learned how to play through the valley. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, um, please do like and leave a comment letting me know if I should do something different to make it better next time. Also give that feedback in the comments, that would be really helpful for me. Um, so this is my first time doing a tutorial on this channel. Usually I just make music videos. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see me do more tutorials of the songs which I cover, um, then please do let me know and I might start doing those more often. If you want to watch my cover of uh, the full cover of this song that I've done, um, Through the Valley, um, I'll leave the, the link here to that song. And you can also download my cover as well. Um, the link is in the description below. So yeah, thank you again. If you're new to this channel, I do videos every single Saturday um, of my favourite songs, usually gaming soundtracks, anime and film soundtracks. Um, so yeah, if you want to hear more, do remember to hit that subscribe button below and um, turn your notifications on. And I will see you guys next Saturday with my next video. Bye!